Good morning, boys and girls. Are you ready for another little science experiment? Yeah. Uh, brilliant bubbles today. This is this is an enjoyable one, everybody. And you're going to be finding out whether you can make different sized bubbles, different coloured bubbles, different shaped bubbles. And all you need really is washing up liquid and water. So washing up liquid and water. I've also got some bubble ones. Now, some of you might have these at home, something similar, but what you can also do is make your own bubble ones. I've actually used some pipe cleaners and I've made different shapes. I've only made small ones because my pipe cleaners weren't very big. I've got a triangle and a square, a circle and a love heart. You can use garden wire, you have to get your grown up to help you with these uh, shapes. But see if you can make some different shapes with the pipe cleaners or the garden wire. Um, and I've put a tray down because I want to catch all the mess and all the drips. You'll need a couple of bowls to put the water and the washing up liquid in. And you can change the colour by using food colouring or you can even try paint. But let me just warn you, if you use food colouring, food dye, when the bubbles pop, they splatter. And so you will get splattered in food colouring. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got my bowl here and I've actually already put some washing up liquid in and water. With this one, I'm just going to blow bubbles. Now, don't forget, if you've got different colours, uh, different food colouring and paint, you can add it in. You can have a few bowls and just get a straw and just blow bubbles. I'm going to blow bubbles. Let me move my glasses. Let's see what happens. Wow, how big is my bubble? Look at it. Look at all the different shapes. You have a go with that, children. Okay, now I'm going to put that to one side. And now I've got another bowl. And the reason I'm using another bowl is if I try and use the magic wands, uh, the bubble wands, in the bubbly liquid that I've just done, it doesn't actually work as well. I've already tried this out. So, washing up liquid and water again. Are you ready? I'm going to actually try one of my bubble ones. Let's see if we can make some different shapes. I'm not going to mix it up. I'm just going to tip it in. Hopefully, get the drips off. Let's see. Oh, did you see those? Circles. I don't think it actually comes out as a flower. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Lots of little circles. How good is that one? I'm going to get this one now. This one's got triangles in it. Do you think my bubbles might be triangular shaped, boys and girls? I'm not sure. Let me dip it in. Got a circle in the middle as well. It's a sunshine shape, isn't it? Well, they're not actually coming out triangular shaped, are they, boys and girls? No. Oh. Now I'm going to try one of my homemade bubble catchers. I'm going to try this circular one that I've made. I've twisted it round into a circle. Dip it in very carefully. Wow, look at that. How good is that? I'm pretty impressed with it myself, children. Shall we try a different one? I'm going to try my square. It's more of a rectangle, really. Let's see if I can make some square bubbles or rectangular bubbles. Ready? How did they come out, children? No. So, you have a go with this at home. See if you can make your own bubbles and have a brilliant, fantastic time. Okay, bye-bye. <coughs>